Hi, I'm Scott Brocious, head baseball coach at Linfield College. I want to show you a drill today uh, using the College 6 swing trainer called the inside outside drill. Okay, so the, the, the purpose of this drill here is, is we're going to be throwing um, basically batting practice to uh, David here from a 45 degree angle, both from the inside uh, part of the plate and from the outside part of the plate. And, and both, both um, sides kind of um, force the, the batter to do something a little bit different. And uh, when we throw from the outside, this is a drill that's really designed uh, to force players to, to allow the pitch to travel farther like an outside pitch. One of the biggest issues that, that young hitters have is they want to go out and make contact too far out from the plate with the outside pitch. And because of the angle here, um, they will have to, he will have to let the ball travel a little bit farther in order to make good solid contact. Now, this is a challenging drill in itself even with the college guys, but add the swing trainer with the, with the smaller barrel and, and the smaller ball and it'll be a great uh, hand-eye coordination drill as well as a, a, a drill to let the ball travel a little bit more. And, and so what we'll do, what we typically do is we take five or six swings from the outside portion uh, of the L screen and then we move over to the inside portion. And this portion of it, when we're thrown from the inside, is a great drill, uh, again, because of the angle that the ball is coming in, uh, it will not allow David to cast his hands and get around the ball. It'll force him to stay inside the baseball um, to, to, uh, in order to put the, uh, the, the barrel, the good part of the bat, onto the ball. And so for the guys that are used to kind of coming around the baseball, it, it'll really kind of highlight uh, that, it, that, that swing right there. And so typically what we do is we'll, we'll throw five or six from the outside, move over to the inside, throw five or six swings over there, then move back to the outside. And, and again, just uh, really force our hitters then to track the ball and keep our hands inside the baseball as well. Okay, so one, one of the key elements of this drill also for the hitter is we, you really want to make sure that even though the ball is coming from the outside portion of the plate or the inside portion of the plate, is we need to make sure that he is squared up as if he's hitting off of a pitcher off of the mound. And so what we don't want is to have your hitter start turning towards the L screen where it's coming from. It kind of defeats the purpose of the drill. So we want to make sure that he's uh, squared up so he's like he's facing a pitcher right off the mound. And then as, as a pitcher here, then our goal really is just to throw the ball over the middle of the plate. We don't really need it to be on the inside corner or the outside corner. Just the angle of the drill will provide what we're looking for. So now you just want to try to throw it right over the middle of the plate and then, uh, like I said, then, then let him kind of force, force him to let the ball travel to him, okay? All right, we'll give it a go. Wait. That's it. So hopefully as we get a pitch or something like that, for example on this, we're really trying to hit it back at my screen. So if you get something inside, you probably want to take that pitch and really work on using the outer third of the plate. Ah. Good. Perfect. So the inside portion of this drill now, the challenge here for the hitter is to make sure that he's keeping his hands inside the baseball and not getting around the ball and, and kind of casting and hooking it. So even though this is coming inside, his goal is going to keep his hands inside and try to hit it right back at this screen as well. Hey, good. I'll try to get it over there. Okay. Sit. Keep your hands inside it. That's the one. Yep. Yeah, it looks way inside. Good. Okay. Okay. So show me that practice swing again, Dave. What you were doing. So yes, yeah, the whole idea is to really make sure that we're leading with our hands inside. It's it feels awkward because you see a ball kind of coming at you from this angle right here but to be able to swing and kind of over-exaggerate getting your hands inside that inside pitch. Good. A lot better. Nice. Last one.
Okay, and again, this is uh, what we call our inside-outside drill. And I think, again, a couple keys as you guys do this are, would be two things. Number one is, is make sure that you have your screen set up at kind of a 45-degree angle uh, between the baselines and the, and the pitching mount. So you're kind of splitting the difference uh, in between there. And then real important to make sure then that your hitter is still set up and squared up towards a, a, a normal pitcher and not squared up um, and facing the L screens. And you do those two things, and uh, the benefits, as you can see, with the inside pitch and the outside pitch will really help advance your hitters.